This week, we are pleased to have joining us Sarah Woods, CEO and President of Philadelphia Futures. This is an organization that supports low-income, first-generation of college students in Philadelphia. Ms. Woods is also an adjunct professor at Villanova School, Villanova School of Law, where she teaches a public, in, public interest lawyering course. Our society has funded Philadelphia Futures students in the past, and we are planning to do so in the future. This is through our Rose Rapport Long Fund. Her talk today is titled, uh, Transforming the Pathways to College and the Workforce. Ms. Woods. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be here with all of you and what a, um, what a joyous way to start such a rainy day with that beautiful music and hearing from all of you. So thank you. Um, I am privileged to serve as the president and CEO at Philadelphia Futures, which is soon to become new name to be determined. Um, we're currently calling it PFSS. We are merging with uh, Stepping Stone Scholars. So the primary focus of my talk today is about how this new merged organization is going to really transform the pathways to college and career. I have a slideshow that I'm going to share in a moment um, and welcome questions throughout. I'll tell you a little bit about me in case that's helpful. I am the daughter of a teacher. Uh, my folks immigrated here uh, from Canada uh, with three of us girls, and we moved all over but settled in Philadelphia in 1990, and this has been our home ever since. I was a public interest lawyer for um, many years and ran a legal services agency, but also had always worked with teens. I was a counselor before law school. So before coming to Futures, I really worked on the advocacy side and on the um, on work to you know to solve problems. What Philadelphia Futures does and PFSS will do is really hopefully stop those issues from starting. Right? We believe deeply in our children. We love the children of Philadelphia, and this merger is really about that love and that hope that we know. Oh, that our children can bring us in this world of great turmoil. So with that, I'm going to share my screen. All right. Can everyone see it? Excuse me. Thank you. Great. All right. So this really is about our children, right? And the children I have up on the screen here our graduates and current students of Philadelphia Futures and Stepping Stone Scholars. And the transformative power of this merged organization really lies within their stories. So I wanna tell you about Fahim. Fahim is the student here on the left. He joined Stepping Stone Scholars in sixth grade. He was shorter than I am, which is not hard, but at that point he was still shorter than I am. Um, and he joined Stepping Stone Scholars for their after school program and summer programming. Um, he also experienced some of the career work, and then he graduated from high school this year and opted to go to Arcadia University. He is now definitely much taller than I am. Um, that is him with his father and Chris Avery, who's the head of our um, K-12 programming, said yes to Arcadia, which is a partner college of Philadelphia Futures. So he will now be supported through his college graduation. That is one example of the power of this merger where Fahim's support arms around him from sixth grade now and through until he gets his degree, which we hope and know, given our past results, will result in economic mobility for him and his family. So that's really why we're doing this, right? And we know that we do this better together. So I want to give this some context, which you all probably know deeply about the context here in Philadelphia. Why are we really leaning into the Philadelphia story? We know that the poverty rate in Philadelphia has not shifted for many, really since um, I've been alive. Um, you see slight changes, but really this is a, a city of a lot of folks who don't have what they need to thrive. We also have too few students who are getting to college graduation. If you look at this pipeline, right, the kids who start in ninth grade, only 15% of them are graduating from college. We know that a college degree makes a difference in your, um, in your life trajectory, both your um, health outcomes and your economic outcomes, we need to shift this. And we know that um, Philadelphia to date has not invested in the talent pipeline of the students that we know are absolutely brilliant. Um, 
We know that so many of our students and our students' families here are not accessing work that will enable them to change their economic trajectory. And here's an example of where companies are not currently investing in the talent pipeline. I'm sure you all read the papers when Amazon was considering their headquarters, their second headquarters being here in Philadelphia. And they said no, because they didn't think, we apparently got very far in the process, but they said no, because they didn't believe that Philadelphia was a hotbed of engineering talent. And yet this is a city with so many educational institutions, right? That pride themselves on their engineering schools where we have hospitals, we have all these eds and meds who can make sure that we have students who have that both experience and education and in engineering. And yet there wasn't a belief that Philadelphians could do this work. And we know that that story isn't accurate, but we have to change both the narrative and the investment that we're making. So our opportunity, right, to transform that pathway to college and the workforce is through the Union of Philadelphia Futures and Stepping Stone Scholars. Two strong organizations, You've known us, we've been around for 33 years now. Um, Stepping Stone Scholars over 20 years. And the, the results that both organizations have um, prided themselves on meant that we know that, that if we combined our efforts, we could really move the needle. So that's why we're coming together, right? To do this collectively, to change the story for generations of students. So our vision is that all Philadelphia students graduate high school and achieve economic mobility through college and workforce success. That may feel new to you. Those of you who are very familiar with Philadelphia Futures work, our pathway has always been college. What Stepping Stone really brings to the table is the recognition that students, whether they're going straight to the workforce from high school or from college, need access to high-skilled work. That is what changes the trajectory. So our goals are um, the anchor occurs to what we're doing is um, increasing high school persistence um, and graduation for Philadelphia district students, increasing the number of college degrees, and increasing the pathways in preparation to life-sustaining careers. And we want to make sure that we are highlighting the students that we serve, recognizing that our work at scale will touch many, many students in Philadelphia, but we have a real um, emphasis on low-income students, first-generation, Black and brown students. So this is what the transformed college pathway looks like. I talked about it in um, Fahim's story, but this is what it looks like for all of the students that we are serving. We will do some light exposure opportunities in K to five and then middle school. We start with advising and support in the high school selection process. We want more kids that are getting to high performing schools and out of school time programming to ensure that students are excited about school and are excited thinking about college and workforce. And then we really dive deep starting in the transition from eighth grade to ninth grade. We know that's where a lot of students take a left turn. Uh, we wanna make sure they're going straight down that path. So that means a bridge program during the summer, um, providing stipends to ensure that students don't have barriers to participation and equity training for the schools that we're working with to ensure that they are creating spaces for our students that make them feel like they belong. In high school, we have cohorted advising, which is what you'll be very familiar with through Futures, which is that one-to-one -one advising we'll be doing at all of the schools that we're currently in. Out of school time, academic support, dual enrollment, which is college classes in high school that you can use those credits to transfer once you say yes to college. Counseling and, and exposure and internships around Korea. And then in college, our college success team takes over if that is the path for the student with advising, again, career exposure and internships, our partnerships and stipends. And then in the career world, whether that's after college or after high school, our career team is working on internships, certifications, corporate partnerships. And then we hope that the cycle continues and that we want our alums to come back. We now have four Philadelphia Futures alumni on staff, um, which is joyous for our students to see um, to see and hear the power of what our going through this program means for their economic mobility. So a little bit more detail here, I thought might be helpful to see what the pathway is in high school, since that's really where we're making our biggest investment. And I say we collectively will be in, we are in 23 district schools, 19 of those are high schools and four of them are middle schools. This is the list and this is the description of what we're doing in there. Again, those cohorts, that college and career program and that school-wide, the economic and career enrichment programming, our college success team, 
um, which starts really, you know, in ninth grade, but um, but we have a specific course for those who are going to college in that um, spring of their senior year, and then bridge and then into college. And then the staffing, we are now embedded in these schools, right? We have staff on the ground who can access students throughout the day. That's a shift for Philadelphia Futures. We used to have students coming to our office after school, but we recognize both with the research out there that shows that high schools will likely be moving to a later start and end time, which limits the amount of time that students have after school for programs like ours. And also the recognition that we just get more time with students if we're in school. They can pop by during their lunch hour, during their advisory period, or just walking down the hallways. Those both intentional and accidental interactions only help us wrap our arms around the student and know in the moment where we might need to pivot. On the career front, um, the, the key here is connecting students to high skilled work. That term is a term of art as I'm learning, um, but it really makes a difference. And you can see in these highlighted areas why that matters for their income, right? If we're connecting students um, with credentials that can help them get to these high skilled wages, we know that that makes a difference for their family. And we do this through internships, again, these certifications, stipends, networking, advising, and our partnerships. And this is about students and it's about individual students, but it's about scale, right? In order to really change the trajectory of Philadelphia, a city that I love and now consider my adopted hometown, we have to serve more students and at a high level, quality work. So that's why in a few years, we're hoping to wrap our arms around 5,000 students. And that's what will really make the difference, particularly around the college trajectory, right? So that um, the chart I showed a little bit earlier on the left-hand side, right, with that 17,000, if we mirror that now with our interventions, we can get to a 25% college graduation rate. I think it can get even higher because I don't think we'll see the drop-off um, in the graduation from high school that, that is pictured here, but we're starting out conservative to see where, where we can go. And then this is us in year zero, right? 3,000, over 3,000 students immediately because of the merger. Um, two very healthy and strong organizations who care about students um, that are coming to do this because we have a choice. We have a choice to do this. The moment is now. If we want to change the trajectory of our individual students' lives, if we care about the future of our city, this is, this is the time. So our operating budget, just so you can see where our um, dollars go to, it's an $11 million budget. Most of it is in that career, uh, in that college space, career, um, I'm sorry, in the K-12 space, college and career as well. And then our partnerships, making sure that if we're not the experts in what we do, how do we ensure that students have access to that expertise? And then you all are investors in our, um, in our work and in our students in particular, you're providing stipends to students while they're in college. I want you to know that what you're investing in is really systemic change, that we're, you're investing in a mission focused organization that has the flexibility and long-term focus on students and solving this issue in Philadelphia. So um, we feel deeply that we can only do this work together. I would imagine that um, that will feel familiar to the folks around the table and given um, you know, the mission and the belief of the Ethical Society, how important it is that we collectively recognize um, and come together. So um, I'm happy to answer questions, but wanted to share how excited we are about the opportunity here. <laughs>